Two of my friends in high school uh, who were younger than me uh, learned how to climb in Boy Scouts and uh, they needed somebody to drive them to go climbing. And I had a harness because I did theater and I had a safety harness which at the time was just a black diamond bod harness. They took me up to uh, St. Helena, went to the bubble and that was my first climbing experience. I spent the next year climbing in my sister's Reeboks. Uh, because they were smaller than my shoes and they were tighter. So that got me started. So I climbed from when I was like 17 until about 24-ish and then life and everything got in the way. And then uh, just kind of fell out of climbing until my kids got, uh, in, uh, got invited to a birthday party here when, shoot, Bridget was six and Dylan was five. And they didn't want to come because they, were, they didn't know what it was all about and they were afraid of it. So I was like, yeah, it's okay. You know, I, I used to do it, so we'll go ahead of time and we'll figure it out. And so we came in and after that, it was like game on and the kids went to the party, had a blast because they already knew how to do their knots and they had been here and they were rock stars and then Bridget had her seventh birthday here and we got punch passes and, and within a year we were members and never looked back. The thing that most people associate with me here at Vertex uh, is working with the kids um, because uh, Jordan, uh, Terry, got the kids team going again and my daughter joined it. And uh, after a year, my son joined it. And the way I was raised um, with my parents, um, when your kids are doing something, you help out. You just volunteer. You just... So just Blaine and helping the kids and being there at the comps and just trying to be helpful um, got me to the point where uh, I volunteered too much and eventually they hired me. What that brought to their lives, um, what Jordan and Chris uh, what they did for the kids' teams here um, set the foundation for what the kids' teams are now. And I think the best thing is to see these kids, A, surpass my abilities left and right. I mean, just, like, I'm, 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 a, I'm a solid average climber. Um, but watching these kids move past what I can show them, but then to turn around and see one of them teach somebody else how to do something the way I taught them how to do it and to have that kind of legacy and that kind of impact, that means a lot to me. One of the things I, that I remember, as my dad said, you give your students all the tools they need to succeed. And what they do with them is up to them. But you have to give them the tools to succeed. And that's what I want to give everybody. I want to give everybody the tools to be successful in their climbing endeavors. I want everyone's experience here at Birdtex uh, to be a positive one. Um, especially when it's their, you know, their first, second, third time. The other thing that kind of fell on my lap at one point, um, Big Blue, was not something that existed when I started here at Vertex. Um, and uh, Gordon was having troubles getting a contractor to build it. And I was like, well, give me the plans and I'll have my boss take a look at it, because I'm, I'm a carpenter worked for, uh, working for a construction company down in uh, Pangrove. And um, my boss said, sure. So we ended up building Big Blue. Uh, my boss did the construct the structural work um, to get it to a point and then I did all the finished work on it for Gordon. The reason that I did Big Blue, the reason why I put that much time into it um, is because I wanted to build this community and I wanted to give back to this community for all of the time 
that it has given to me and my family and the safety that I felt having my kids here. And then also just in, in climbing in general um, and from a family standpoint is I, last month, Bridget and I were at Lover's Leap again. Um, and we go to Lover's Leap at least once a year. It's something that we still do and still spend time together doing. And it's something, like I said, that Dylan still does, um, maybe not as often, but it, it's not something that you have to like put away and forget. It can, you can always come back to it. Um, and I'm turning 50 next year and I'm still climbing.